Okay, so what we're going to do today is to solve a common problem with EPS 2020 or eFootball PES 2020 and the PS4 controller when you want to play this game on PC via Steam. So Steam actually has this feature that supports um, this controller out of the box. And when I go to the big picture mode, yes, I have my controller working out of the box and I don't have to do anything once Steam is able to identify it. Yes, so I actually don't have to do so many things and this works out of the box. So. Now, they have issue with APS where we cannot actually use the controller when we start the game and this is a common issue as I saw many of us complaining about it. So, I decided to research about this and I found this software on x360c.com I'll put the link in the description which works where well, solve this issue perfectly without much complication so what you would do is you have to download the version depending on the uh, on your OS or PC type so if you're using 64 bit uh, OS you download for 64 bit or if you're having the game 64 bit version of the EPS you download for the 64 bit or if you haven't 32 bit so I've already downloaded this software so I'll just go to download and I'll have it here so what I do is I'll open it and then once you open it you come to Steam you go to your libraries and you go to eFootball, so let me go to my libraries, and then you see I have the eFootball over here, and then I'll select properties, and I'll go to local files, and I'll click on browse local files. So I have this window open, and now what I'm going to do here is to drag this software over here. I already have it, so before that, let me remove this two files or three files you out of the box you are not going to have this three files so you just drag this one here and then it will be here so now you just you can close that window or minimize it now I run this software and then it will tell you that you have to fish something yes it's supposed to get this file and the file is now available so we create it now when you create it you realize that this is empty everything here is empty it has been able to um, it has been able to uh, identify my controller already so we are on a controller one and we are going to do reset yes i uh, reset it and then we see game controller one okay so my controller is off so i'll try to turn it on again and now okay we we are now here so we have been able to detect our controller and we will select this so if you have your controller on already you will see this um, pop-up or window before so you don't have to uh, open it so my controller is on and i'll click on finish so when i click on finish you will see that i'm able to get this information loaded so you can do auto and then yes you can reset it yes and now this will be the default configuration where everything works out of the box you don't have to change anything so you save this now once you hit on save you see that you have a temp and 
and if I so you don't have to do anything again just close the window and now you have these three files um, like two files including the file that you dragged in here or extracted you have these three files so what you have to do next is go to settings and then you go to controller now you can most of you i know most of you select wireless controller like using the direct which doesn't work so you just select x input and you click on ok so x input you don't have to do anything again so we now can start our game either from steam or just from here Okay, so our game has started. My controller is working as I am clicking, um, pressing the buttons, pressing the button. Now, Steam has loaded our config for our PS4 controller, so we don't have to do anything. So we wait for this thing to load. All right, so. We have it now everything is working you can go to look how much and we can see how everything here yeah, so i'm using the analog controls now so everything is working let me try to start a match and see Okay, so we we'll start a quick match. So basically that's how you get your PS4 working.